Hi guys, welcome to another news. A point state house of assembly has approved over 1.6 billion naira for Governor Devo Mayi to bankroll exit packages for stakeholders. The approval is coming just a few days to the expiration of Mayi's tenure. David Umayi is a Nigerian politician who is currently the governor of Ebony State since May 2015. Umayi entered public service in 2007 as the acting chairman of Ebony State chapter of the People Democratic Party. From 2009 to 2011, he served as the chairman of the party. During that time, he served a one year governing board of the Federal Medical Center in Asaba as its chairman. In 2011, Dave Umayi became the deputy governor of Ebony State on a ticket with the then governor Martin Elegi. However, in 2014, Governor Elegi supported Onye Buchichuko, Minister of Health, as a successor, which Umayi stated violated an understanding that he would take that role. Dave Umayi went ahead to defeat Chuko in the primaries. The remainder of Elegi's term was chaotic with Arsene eating the House of Assembly in February 2015. The motions taken to impeach him later that month over alleged unconstitutional gross misconduct, misappropriation of funds and anti parties activities. The former he was elected the role of the gov- governor on the 12th of April 2015 in an election that has been challenged by Labour Party, All Progressive Congress and the All People, All Progressive Grand Alliance of basi- on the basis of widespread irregularities, killing and wanting destruction of property. In October 2015, the legitimacy of the election was upheld by Governorship Election Tribunal. On the 16th of March 2019, the former was re-elected as Governor of Ebony State. He put 393,343 votes to defeat APC Sonny Oguji, who put its 1,703 votes. The Fumayu won All Progressive Congress Ebony South Senatorial District in 2022. In 11th of November 2020, Umayu declared his intention to join the All Progressive Congress APC and on the 17th of November 2020, he officially defected to the party after a long time speculation. Umayu made his declaration by joining the APC for reasons according to him. One of them being that the People Democratic Party has been unfair to the Southeast geopolitical zone. And secondly, that it has been hijacked by one or two individuals. He also deals that the speculation against him that he joined the APC because he wanted the presidential ticket, which wasn't promised to him in the PDP by saying that he would quit politics in 2023 after leaving office as governor. President Muhammad Bari also congratulated him for his defection to the All Progressive Congress. He described it as a bold step driven by principle rather than opportunist moves or coercion. On the 11th of January 2022, Obani declared his intention to run for the office of the President of Nigeria in 2023 general election after consulting with President Muhammad Bari just days after the declaration of, of the leader in APC, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunumbu. This conflict with his earlier statement when defected to the APC that he would quit politics after his tenure as governor. On the 8th of March 2022, Umayi and his deputy Eric Kelechi Igwe were sacked as governor and deputy governor of Eboy State respectively by the Federal High Court in Abuja for defecting to the All Progressive Congress while in office. The court said the popular vote given to Umayi belonged to the People Democratic Party and by defecting from the party, the office ceases to be theirs. The court immediately ordered the People Democratic Party to submit the name of their gubernatorial candidates to INEC for a fresh gubernatorial election to be conducted in neighboring states. On the 11th of March 2022, the state high court granted David Umayi and his, and his deputy Eric Kelechi Igwe interim of seven days in office. On, on the 1st of April 2022, the Court of Appeal in Enugu State affirmed Umayi as the governor of the state, saying his defection to the APC was immoral but not constitutional, while affirming an earlier judgment by the Federal High Court in Ebony State. However, the grounds to, for the sack of Umayi by the Federal High Court in Abuja is different from the Federal High Court in Ebony State. The Court of Abuja in, the court of Appeal in Abuja 
is yet to hear the appeal of the judgment of the Federal High Court in Abuja. On the 29th of January 2021, People Gazette reported that throughout Umayi Steno as Deputy Governor and Governor, he transferred more than 3.6 billion naira in government money to his company Brass Engineering and Construction Nigeria Limited. Bank record shows their payments starting from 2011 when Umayi became Deputy Governor to Mantis Elegi and continued into his time as Governor. In response, Umayi and A threatened People Gazette reporters on phone calls and the People Gazette website was blocked before requesting a restriction with 1, million, 1 billion naira as atonement from the newspaper. After the paper stood by his story, Umayi sued the People Gazette for defamation and demanded 2 billion naira in damages. The Vumweze Umayi is a politician and currently serving as the governor of Ebony State since May 2015. It's report that a one state out of assembly has approved over 1.6 billion naira for Dave Umayi to bankroll exit packages for stakeholders. Said that the report approval said the sum said was debated upon on the floor of the house by members led by the deputy speaker Kinsley Okoro, representing Afiko Northwest constituency. The leader of the state house of assembly, Victor Chuko, representing Ezra Northwest constituency. Who spoke to newsmen shortly after the house sitting said the approval of the said fund was for the interest of the citizens of the state and not for the governor. According to him, he only approved a fund for an exit package which is targeted at appreciating those who have worked with the governor. It is a welfare package for the citizens of the state. It is an extension of empowerment program that the governor has been doing and there is nothing new about it. The fund wasn't approved to him as a governor, but for the interest of urban citizens. We only approved one, $1 billion, 600 million, he stated. It was gathered that the members of the House equally confirmed the appointment of four commissioner nominees that were sent to them by the governor. The commissioner nominees include Emeka Onwode from Okwo local government area, Ininkwaachi Akwa from Oha Uzara local government area, Obianuju Alu from Isielu local government area, and one other whose name is not yet identified at the time of filing this report. That will be all for now. Thank you for listening. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And please let us know your thoughts and opinion via the comment section below. And we'll be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now and I will see you on the next news.